Well, hello there. So, I just wanted to address a small debate that tends to happen within Vegas Pro communities regarding a multi-sequence editing workflow that may or may not potentially be integrated into Vegas Pro depending on demand. We, of course, do have the nested timeline, uh, but that is an entirely different manner of working it's not quite the same as multi sequence editing and essentially what multi sequence editing is is having multiple timelines being able to flip between just like these tabs over here if you can imagine this being a timeline and that being a timeline that would be multi sequence editing but i'm here to argue that we may not actually need uh, this particular facility as great as it is and I love the crap out of it simply because Vegas offers something that is unique to its own linear uh, nature but first let's talk about the old school workflow when it comes to dealing with multiple instances of the same clip so this is a draft for a institution that teaches uh, kids with special needs certain skill sets in this case carpentry i'm going to go ahead and highlight all of these clips right here all these events and then i'm going to flip the cursor back to the normal edit tool and then hold control and just drag it across the timeline over here and that'll be that this is going to be my second draft. This I could potentially just right click, go to switches, and lock. And this way I can, you know, go back to this as a reference without accidentally, you know, messing around with it or anything. I can even activate the FX tool now that I've locked it. So this is a pretty old school way of doing things. And it works. Some people, you know, old school folk just don't bother with a multi-sequence editing ma manner but you know this is just something that I thought you guys should know that it does happen indeed in the professional world but there is another facility that Vegas does have in fact it's been available since well forever really perhaps Vegas Pro 6 if I remember correctly I at least that's the first Vegas Pro that I've ever used and what that essentially is is that you can grab all these tracks and duplicate them and what I'm going to do here is just going to right click and go to track and group the selected track I'm going to grab these duplicates and group them as well. I could essentially say that this is draft one and this is draft two. And just so it doesn't become a nightmare when I play uh, the set, you know, both of these, I want to avoid both of these groups playing at the same time, I can just turn this off. And not only is it turned off now, it's also relieved the processor from potentially having to process uh, this track. And so, do we really need a multi sequence editing workflow when you have this? Um, I don't know what that track was, but I'm pretty sure it was useless. I'm not entirely sure that we do. It's it's certainly a different workflow, and that's entirely the point. Vegas Pro has a video editing uh, procedure that is very much akin to what musicians uh, do with their own DAOs and sound editing tools. In fact, it began as a DAO. So why not why not something that is entirely different let me know in the que in the comment section below oh and uh, by the way pretty cool fact i was actually playing around with a timeline and it seems that the timeline on vegas is virtually limitless 
So when I when I try to scroll past, you know, a day, I thought it just I, I thought Vegas just you know bugs out, but it turns out that it's not a bug. And this is actually actually what happens when you get close to a day, the time goes just goes zero, and you know the pretty much every zero 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 is a day. So that's one. Oh, sorry. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten days of uh, <laughs> timeline space. How cool is that? 